Imagine a world where black women and girls get the whole dollar, a dollar that puts funding, training, and safe spaces in the hands of black women entrepreneurs and community leaders to share, build generational wealth and financial freedom. These things are all made possible through the Richmond Community Foundation. And to learn more, we're now joined by the Senior Director, Taylor Sims. Taylor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, very, very excited to talk about the Richmond Community Foundation, all of the amazing things that you are doing for the youth out there. But for our viewers who maybe never heard of the foundation, give us an overall scope of who you are and what you do. Yeah, so I am the Senior Director of the Equity for Black Women and Girls Initiative, powered by Richmond Community Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, but we actually changed our name to RC of Connects, which actually embodies all of what we're trying to do, which is connecting um, lower income people and um, marginalized communities to really uplift them and, you know, bring their voices to the table. Yeah, and you you have so many programs that help uplift women, uplift the youth, and bring their voices to the table. So can you walk me through some of those programs and what you guys offer? Yeah, so we actually um, just started about two years ago um, starting our program. So our first one is a black woman incubator program mm -hmm. that we hold with um, Chase Minority Business and Renaissance Entrepreneurship Group. Um, it's about a 30-week intense course where they learn, you know, taking their business from that idea to an actual, you know, lucrative business. Um, and we're super excited to actually be adding our branding section this time. Um, and we have two mandatory events. The first one is a feedback session where we have consumers and business-minded folks come and just, you know, hear their pitches, how they can improve on their business and things like that. And at the end, we actually have a pitch competition very similar to Shark Tank, um, where oh we God. actually are able to grant the business is um, at least a thousand dollars last year and our, we had winners first place was five thousand dollars second place got three thousand five hundred and third place got two thousand so really excited That's that we exciting. were able to support and help these black women owned businesses you know and put their foot in the door in uh, yeah. you know a world that we thought was close to us yeah a hundred percent and and that is so important right to allow people to know that hey there's so much space out here for you to be able to do your thing you can succeed exactly in the business world why why are these programs so important to helping especially black women and black youth understand financial freedom and generational wealth yeah you know um, we we typically do make a dollar out of 15 cents so having them understand that you know the side hustle that you're doing maybe out of the car out of your kitchen it could really be a lucrative business and you can you know be a business owner and you can set your your kids up and your grandkids up for you know a, a successful life and what would you say maybe to people out there who want to start a business or want financial freedom and those big goals but just don't know where to start yeah definitely lean on your village um, I think that's very important um, but also if you're a black woman and you want to start a business please like go on the website we actually are starting our year two cohort which we're super excited about um, and we start that in April, so yeah. Soon, okay, so yeah. people can actually start getting into it now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now you guys also have a super exciting gala coming up. Tell yes. me about all about the event and how people can participate or maybe donate. Yeah, so our gala will be um, this Friday actually at the Concord Hilton. Um, and we're super, super excited. We are sold out, um, which we actually didn't expect. Well, I didn't expect for the first year. <laughs> um, but yeah, just going on the website and donating just because all of the money that we get, 100% of the proceeds will go to the program. Um, it's really important that we keep putting our money where our mouth is as a community um, and just making sure that we're uplifting the black women and girls in our community. Yes. And Taylor, for you, you know, what does this mean to you personally to be able to be involved in all of these amazing programs to helping black women and black young girls? out there you know I've always said that I don't want to make the most money I want to make the most change in the world um, and so just being able to change the lives of black women being able to change the lives of single black moms that you know have told themselves that I can't I can't own a business because I'm too busy being a mom or I can't own a business because I'm a stay-at-home black mom and I you know don't have the resources and opportunities yeah. so being able to offer them the opportunities and the resources to help them be successful and thrive and really change their lives. It means a lot. Um, we have a few videos that we uh, recorded for our gala and every time I think about it and just look at them and listen to them, it, it, what we're doing is making a difference and it's making a change. And I think that moves me so much more than any amount of money really could so yeah and that's beautiful too I, I could see it in your eyes when you talk about it even when you were talking yeah, about I'm the trying video. not to cry <laughs> <laughs> don't cry on I know it's a beautiful thing it really is right it brings all of the emotions out yeah. and I do have to ask what are some of the feedback or the success stories that you've been able to be part of yeah so actually one of our participants our first place winner she um, quit her job completely so that way she wow. could 
pursue her business full time, which is amazing. Um, but also, I'm a elected official on the Pittsburgh School Board, and so I was able to bring her business into the school board and um, have her at one of our schools. And now she's trying to expand in the schools and expand to other school districts. So it's really, really um, cool to see the impact that we're making and being able to, you know, use my network in more than one way. Yeah, exactly. And, and that networking is really so crucial, right? Yes. Because relationship building, and that's part of business too. Yeah. I think people don't understand that that relationship building is also a crucial part 100%. in building your own business. Yeah. So for people out there listening and maybe they want to take part, tell us one more time how they can get involved, donate, and also maybe leave us with one tip for people out there who want to start businesses. Yes. Um, just going to the RCF Connects website. So it's rcfconnects.org. Um, we have um, in the R work, we have a whole separate tab about what we do, um, which has links to all of our um, applications for our Sister SOAR program, as well as our Sister Circle facilitation training um, my email is on the website as well and I would love to connect and talk to people about our programs as you can see I'm very passionate yes uh, <laughs> so I love talking thing. about it yeah. um, but the one piece of advice that I would have is just to believe in yourself and really lean on your village because it's it's really important I you know thank my mom and my grandma and just the black women that I have in my community that have really believed in me and poured into me well, thank you so much for sharing your story thank and you. all of the amazing things that you guys are doing. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Of course.